Today I'm going to show you how to uh, create a URL, well to load a URL in your default browser from a, uh, a VB6 application, well at least I'm using VB6 uh, application so I already have my module put together, it's a lot of code, I probably wouldn't get to it in 10 minutes. So I'll post up the code, uh, the program description. So, create text box. You don't have to re. You can rename it if you want. Label button is my special one. I made the ActiveX. So, and do label one dot caption equals text one dot text, and then of course label one underscore click put in module one dot open browser space uh the quote no I forget what they're called. <laughs> There's curvy things, label one dot caption and curvy and then debug it bring it down. You don't have to put HTTP I'll do my server and there you go. That's my server. Okay. So, oh, I forgot an exit button. So that's the end of the pro, or that's the end of the video. So, I'll post up the module uh, code on the description, or you can just pause the video and look at it. Either one. I'll probably put in this description so you guys can just copy and paste it um uh just do the coding if you want you can just put uh the link in the caption and delete these and just have module one dot open browser label one dot caption and then it'll just have that there if you want this button activex that i made it's got windows 95 windows 3 <laughs> Er, Windows 98, I think. I forget. I don't know. I renamed it weird. Java, uh, flat button, hover button, well, hovering button, kind of. It's kind of like invisible. Netscape, and, uh, Mac button. It's kind of like Mac button. And, uh, it's got a bunch of button shapes, rectangle, diagonal, custom 3D, stuff like that. So if you want that, I'll post up a download on the program description too. So thanks for watching, and uh, download that if you want. And yeah. Okay.